People speak out about the Decatur Police Department backtracking their initial statement on the deadly officer-involved shooting of Steve Perkins. Boy 31's Paige Meyer is live in Decatur now. Paige, what have you learned? Dan Marie, today I spoke with members of the Morgan County NAACP, and they tell me that they are outraged that the Decatur Police Department released inaccurate information. In a statement that the Decatur Police Chief Todd Pinion released last night, he said the department, quote, erred in stating Mr. Perkins refused to drop his firearm prior to the shooting. He says the department now knows the officer, quote, identified themselves as police and ordered Mr. Perkins to get on the ground prior to the officer firing, rather than ordering him to drop the weapon at the time we initially reported the morning of the shooting. The president of the Morgan County NAACP, Rodney Gordon, says it's unacceptable that the Decatur Police Department released inaccurate information. He wonders what else the shooting might be incorrect. If it wasn't for social media and that door cam, he'd be another statistic. That's right. Yeah, they yeah. They, just like they lied. If, if they if they lied, if they if they lied with the camera, oh my goodness, what in the world you think they would do without the camera? Gordon says whoever made the false report acted unethically and wants them to be held accountable. Chief Pinion's statement says the department's Office of Professional Standards is conducting an investigation into the moments before the shooting, the use of force itself, and the officer's actions. He says the department will then determine if it needs to change its policies or implement new ones. Now today I reached out to the Decatur Police Department and Chief Pinion declined to meet with me following the release of this statement. Now I also reached out, reached out to Aaliyah for a comment on Chief Pinion's statement and whether this really of inaccurate information will affect their investigation. But as of right now, they have not gotten back to me. Now I will continue to work on bringing you guys information on this investigation and will bring it to you both on air and online at waytv.com. Reporting live in Decatur, Paige Meyer, Wait 31 News.